here at Dance Masters, the first Grand Slam of the year. Next to me I have Mr. Sean Tay, the president of the WDSF. Hello. Hi. It's an honor to discuss with you tonight. Thank you. How do you feel the energy of this competition? It's an honor because um, it's an historical moment for Romania. It is the first Grand Slam that is organized in and by Romania. How do you feel the energy? I think the response from the uh, people who love dance sport, I can see as from last night is uh, very good. Uh, mainly because I think this is a, a, a very established event. It's been around for at least 15 years. And uh, this hall is uh, a great uh, venue because it's right in the city centre or very near to uh, the city centre. I think this is all the important factors. And uh, I can see the, especially the opening ceremony, you have uh, a lot of children, uh, uh, young people, and this, this is actually the, uh, the target age that we look, uh, we look for because we really need uh, more and more young people taking up uh, uh, dance sport. And uh, I, I, I could see there are some countries, I, I believe you have this situation in Romania as well. Uh, there are countries like Vietnam where dance, dance sport is new to the country. And they have three generations of people going to a competition. The, 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 uh, the very young kids, their parents and the great grandparents <laughs> all competing in different categories. So that is really interesting. And uh, last night I saw there are many uh, children of uh, different ages. I think this is uh, really nice to see happening in Romania. Amazing, amazing. Uh, I hope all the, um, the children and any ages, to be honest, uh, will be inspired by such event and will join uh, more and more this wonderful sport and art. My question for you would be, what what do you prepare for the dance sport world? What strategies, what plans, what new uh, innovative ideas do you have? I think uh, this year especially is, um, is we will make the biggest change ever in 62 years of WDSF. Uh, simply because we were at the Youth Olympic Games, we break in last October in Buenos Aires and uh, at, the, uh, at the breaking Youth Olympic, I can see that the generation today, they expect different things from sports, no longer that uh, they can accept sports just as a sport. They want the sport to be fun to be trendy, so uh, the trend, the fashion is very important to them. And uh, so we are quite classical in the sense that standard and Latin has been around for a long, long time and uh, we are keeping to our traditions. And so at the Youth Olympic Games, I noticed that uh, there are many things that we need to look at to review our sports. So this is why I came back and I come up with a new campaign. And uh, yesterday we have uh, a long meeting, the Sports Commission's meeting, which is a very important meeting in WDSF, that we have uh, formally approved a new series of competition called the uh, Sports Series. So the sports series, we're going to uh, make a lot of changes to the format. We're not going to do traditional method of single dance, one dance at a time for five dances for each discipline. We're going to uh, make it like, uh, we package it into like a medley that uh, the dancers making the final, the semi-final, they will not know what dance will come out first because it's just one piece of music and they have to change when the music and the tempo change they have to change because this will create excitement surprises 
how each dancers react to the music wow. and uh, <laughs> and so is otherwise they are just practicing uh, a lot of muscle memory to a fixed choreography and they're doing it from the first round all the way to the final yes. and so if you like a certain couple you watch them for five rounds they'll be doing the same thing for you yeah. it's almost like a singer singing five same songs to you for five rounds and you you want to see the changes so i think the uh, the fun element the surprise element is very important to a competition and also uh, today's audience they are less patient like many years ago they uh, they expect the pace to be faster they get impatient very easily so we need to create surprises that they know in the earlier rounds they see them in the traditional way in the competition in the semi final they see the format in a different way and in the final they will be waiting to see the final what will come out you know yeah. it's uh, it's almost like a television uh, dance contest every week like dancing with a star the contestant come up with a different program and people are waiting to see what they are coming up indeed so this is what we want to do in one day we want each round people to see in a different way so and also it's important that uh, we want to have uh, the competition more compact and shorter thank you thank yeah, you thank you yes it, it was amazing and i wish you all the best of luck thank it you. sounds so good and i hope the dancers will receive this uh, type of new uh, dancing with the uh, warm hearts thank you thank you thank you